TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials finish up 30, NASDAQ down 54, S&Ps up 3, gold contract up $4, trading at $12.85 an ounce. We had silver up 5 cents, $14.90 an ounce, light sweet crude. Flat, $63.89 a barrel. Notes and bonds, they just continue on higher price, lower yield. You had the 10-year note, up eight ticks, 123.22. 30-year, up 17 at 147.16. They both look like they're setting up to, for higher price tomorrow. Uh, dollar looks like it's setting up for lower price. This is the first time that we did get any uh, movement on the way down, as well as some volume on the way down. A dollar out here today, down 346 ticks. 96, 138. What that does now is that that gives the dollar a failure as it broke out of its high last Friday, came back inside it uh, today, uh, had some volume back inside. Now we'll see if we get any follow through. We haven't got any follow through for a long period of time inside the dollar each and every time that has gone into lower price. What we're going to have out here tomorrow is that we have the Federal Reserve statement at 2 o'clock, news conference at 2.30. Bottom line, the Consensus is that it's going to be dovish. Uh, the way the dollar's trading, the way gold's trading, the way bonds are trading, uh, it could be more dovish than we think. Euro. Euro's trading at 112.16. What the euro did out here, as the dollar went lower, the euro did get back inside its higher range. Uh, euro right now is trading at 112.16. And anything uh, inside of the uh, 111.77 keeps, well, gets it back inside the higher range. That's after the downdraft, and it broke lower last week. Uh, NDX 100 out here today. You can expect that we're going to get some uh, movement after the futures open back up. We're going to have Apple come out with numbers, and the way that uh, Apple looks to me that's trading, I, I expect we're going to see lower prices out here. Apple did come down in volume today. We broke a little swing, had 38 million shares, plenty of people getting out of Apple to say, okay, um, I'm not going to sit around and wait for this number to come out. Apple had a heck of a run from the lows of December, no doubt. We went from $142 up to $208 last week. Uh, I suspect Apple's going to take a run down at this 184 number, and right now you're at 200. So we'll see. Uh, th these numbers are going to be important for the NDX 100. To recap out here, we had the Dow Industrials uh, close up 38, NASDAQ down 54, S&P's up 6. Come right back.